Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks so much for tuning into yet another one of my videos. So, I know it's been like forever, okay, since I posted a video, um, but this, it's been because of good reason. This is like my first official video um, that I'm going to be posting on YouTube from me actually moving into my warehouse space. So, we have been in the process of moving into this space, moving from out of our home into this space, so it's been a crazy, hectic journey. But I'm here today to come to you guys with another video. In today's video, we are going to be making some honey soap, okay? Honey is absolutely amazing for your skin. Honey is an all natural humectant, and humectants are things that pull the moisture out of the air and draw the moisture in the water to your skin. Our skin and hair loves and needs water, and that's why humectants are so good and to implement into your skincare and your beauty and wellness type of routine. So we're gonna make a honey soap, we're gonna get this moisturizing, cleansing bar going, and of course, the key ingredients that I'm going to be using is honey. Now, honey is sweet, it's naturally sweet, which means it, will accelerate your soap batter. Anytime you add any type of sweeteners, whether it's sugar or honey, those type of things accelerate your soap. But on the flip side, it creates amazing lather. Anytime you add any type of sugar, honey, any type of things like that that are sweet, they create amazing, amazing, amazing lather in your bar. So I'm so excited to be making this um, bar of soap. I actually introduced this honey soap to the Jayla Run line a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a month or so ago. Um, and it's been doing so well on my site. So enough rambling, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my honey soap. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so some of the star ingredients that we use as referenced earlier is honey. So I have some honey, but I also have some honey powder. I ordered this honey powder, um, and the reason why I'm gonna use some honey powder and some honey is because like I said, honey accelerates soap, and whenever you use too much, it can be like soap on a stick. So I'm gonna do half of my formula, half of the honey content is going to be the actual honey and then the other half is going to be honey powder. So I'm going to mix this with ginger. I'm gonna use ginger powder to give me the honey color, okay? To give it that nice golden brown honey color. Um, so yeah, so this is ginger powder and these are the two honeys that we're gonna use. Also, to give it the honeycomb look, we're going to add some bubble wrap, okay? I cut up the bubble wrap into these little strips like this to kind of give it like a really nice design um, to make the top look like a honeycomb. So we're gonna use this, and I got this small little pack of bubble wrap from the dollar store, so. And these, what I love is that you can reuse these over and over and over. Um, so you don't have to necessarily buy a bunch of this. Once you got it, it's good until it's not. <laughs> but I also have my oils and butters right here. And if you guys are new to my channel, and if you do not know, I use the heat transfer method. So the heat transfer method is basically whenever I use the heat from the lye water solution to melt all of my hard butters, and oils and then I add my liquid oils once all of this is melted down from the light water solution. So enough rambling, let me go ahead and get soaping. Okay, so we have our light water solution and now we're going to pour it into our hard oils and butters. Now that that's done, let's get this going. Okay. 
Okay, so now that this is all melted down, I'm now gonna add my olive oil. So let me grab my scale. Okay, so now that I have my olive oil in here, now it's time to stick blend. Okay, so this looks pretty much ready to go. So, now it's gonna be time for my additives. Okay, so in here I have honey, I have the ginger powder, and I also have the honey powder. Now, whenever you guys are adding additives, you have to take into account your formula. You don't wanna just start dumping a bunch of additives into your soap because it will affect how your soap comes out. So in here is my uh, um, respected amount of additives. And so this is getting a little bit thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add olive oil to this just to get it a little bit more fluid so that I can add it to my soap batter. Okay, so now that I have my additives mixed up with some olive oil, I'm gonna then add it to my batter. And this batter is still nice and fluid and I actually did a water discount. I did a water discount of about 20%. So this looks really, really good um, given the fact that I did the heat transfer method and I did a water discount. So this is looking amazing. All right, so Next, I'm going to add in the fragrance. The fragrance that I'm using is called Golden Honey. It smells just like honey. <laughs> just, just like it. And this fragrance oil behaves very, very well. As you can see, it still didn't thicken up or anything. It's behaving very, very well.
Okay, so now that we have all of the soap batter into the soap, I'm going to take the strips and I'm going to get the bubble side. I'm gonna put it onto the soap like so. And I'm gonna lightly press down so that the soap batter gets the imprint of the bubble wrap. So now that that's done, this last step is definitely optional and it's not necessary, but I'm just gonna lightly press this over. just to give it a little bit more to the design. And that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute. And this is how I make my Oh My It's Honey Soap. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to cut the bars. This looks so good. All right, I'll be back for the cut. Okay, so now we are back um, several hours later, well, almost a day later, and we're gonna get ready to cut this. But I wanna show you guys something after I remove this. So these are pretty much easy to remove, and they're still intact where you can reuse these, okay? So I'm gonna take these off. Oh. And I'm gonna unmold these. So I wanted to show you guys this, okay? This is what happens whenever you don't fully incorporate your powder um, additives in an olive oil or anything like that before you incorporate it into your soap. Anytime you come to my channel, I hope that you guys are able to learn something, okay? So this is why I wanted to show you guys this. These little dots are ginger powder that wasn't fully incorporated in the olive oil. That's why I always say anytime you guys have like a powder um, additive, make sure you guys mix it well with olive oil because if not, it can create like these powder deposits in your bar. Me, I don't really care about this. This is still a dope looking bar. But as I can tell you, as I told you plenty of times before in my previous videos, for a bar to look beautiful is something extra, okay? My main goal is to make sure that I have an amazing bar of soap that works. This still looks pretty dope to me, okay? I'm going to show you in one second what the actual bar should look like um, from a previous batch that I made weeks ago. So give me one second. I'll show you what the bar is supposed to look like. So this is what the bar is supposed to look like. This was from a previous batch that I had done um, weeks ago. And you can definitely tell the difference. Once I cut the bar, I'm gonna show you um, the two bars side by side to give you an idea 
of what it really looks like. But this is why this is so important as well. This is a small mixer. I hope you guys are able to see this. This is a mini mixer, okay? It's a mini stick blender mixer thing. It's actually, um, these are sold for espresso makers, I think. It makes the foam on top of the expressors, espressos. Um, but you can get these on Amazon. I think I got this on Amazon for a couple bucks. I'll put a link down below um, in the description box where I found this. This could have easily whisked, see that? This could have easily whisked my um, olive oil and ginger and honey powder nice and easy. But I was just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just had the popsicle stick and I was just mixing, not even realizing that it probably wasn't fully going to mix well. But this is what the bar looks like. This is still a dope looking bar. I can't wait to cut this because it still looks like a nice bar of soap. It just looks like a, a freckled bar of soap. So I'm still going to sell this because it still is going to work just as good. Um, but this is what it looks like. And again, I'm so happy that I'm able to show you guys when things happen like this because I want you guys to be able to learn something from my channel. Okay, if you guys aren't learning anything from my channel, it's almost like a waste of time for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut and I think that'll be pretty much it. So let me get my soap cutter and I'll be right back. And this is what the inside of the bar looks like. So, this looks a lot different than this. And as you can also see, the ginger was uh, incorporated to add the color. And this bar is significantly darker than this one because this is fully incorporated. This is still a little bit light. So, like I said, this is still an amazing bar of soap. I'm still going to sell this. I'm still going to put this on my site because it's going to do what it's supposed to do, right? Um, but it's just freckled. <laughs> so it's still a nice, pretty looking bar. But yeah, it just has the freckled spots. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys learned something. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't already, please make sure you like, share, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. You guys have really been showing me some major, major love, and I'm so grateful, so thankful for you all. Um, but until next time, I got so many amazing videos um, set up for you guys. Just watch, okay? <laughs> watch, wait, and see. I'm so excited. But yeah, if you guys like this, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye guys.